than a week after Minneapolis police shot and killed a man at a gas station. We're learning more about what led up to that deadly encounter and how it's going to be investigated. Court documents say that it started as a sting operation to arrest Dolal Eid for illegally selling a gun. The case will now be reviewed outside of Hennepin County. Jeff Wagner breaks down the latest developments. Late Monday, the Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension released the names of the officers who fired their guns at Dolal Eid. They are Officer Paul Huin, Sergeant Darcy Clund, and Officer Jason Schmidt, all part of MPD's community response team. A search warrant for Eid's home reveals police used a confidential informant to set up a gun deal with Eid. When police moved to arrest him at the gas station, the BCA says Eid fired at the officers who then returned fire, killing him. The BCA says a gun was found near Eid's body. The warrant also reveals that the informant told police Eid had more guns at his house. Hennepin County Sheriff's deputies searched it and found no guns or evidence. Those close to Eid's family feel police were acting on false information. You cannot build a case on a liar, um, and especially, you know, how much more lies did this informant give law enforcement if they raided this home in the, in the manner that they did, believing that there were some sort of weapons there. Uh, they didn't find nothing. In an effort to remove possible conflicts of interest, the case will now be reviewed by Dakota County Attorney James Backstrom. He will determine if the officers were justified in using deadly force. In Minneapolis, Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News.